So basically it's all about safety here. Oh no! I'm breathing it in! Hurry! Oh! That wasn't smart. So I'm going to spend the next probably hour or so cutting up the template, taping it all together, laying it on some steel, I'm going to cut that out, do some grinding, test fitting, weld that sucker up. <clears throat> Got the template, I think. We'll see. Just took my time and kind of <clears throat> cut it out. Once you get one half of it done, on my rear end anyway, it's pretty much the same on the other side, so I just flipped that pattern over and transferred it on the other side. And it seemed to work out pretty well. Now, I'm gonna take my cutoff wheel and just start hacking stuff, cutting out the meat of it, basically. See where we're at. So yeah, basically I'm just going to spend the next couple years of my life cutting this out. Basically doing what you just seen, taking out little pieces because I only have a cutoff wheel to cut out that shape. Taking out little pieces and going back through with the grinder and kind of cleaning it up. I'm going to do that. I'm going to suit up again. And I'll get back to you when I got it a little more cut out. Mostly cut out. <clears throat> Now I just need to figure out my angles here, what I want to do across the top. And for that, I'm probably going to pull the template off and draw it directly on the steel. There it is. <clears throat> I wouldn't, you know, necessarily call this the prettiest thing I've ever done in my life. But it's a piece of steel. Um little uneven in spots but I don't care I made it it's my first one I don't care if it's perfect seems a little thicker over here to me than over here but three wheeling down the highway at 50 miles an hour and I can build tail don't do that please don't do that there it is. Notch these out so I can still fit my bolts in here. I could have put my bolts in this way, but they're made to go in this way. They have a shoulder on them that helps hold the, the, the trailing arm a little more stable. Probably not a huge deal to ream it out over here to make this side bigger to run the bolt in and put the nut over here, but I'd like it to go back in the same way that it came out. Um, and I think I had a little too much material anyway. It, it looked funny having it real thick through there so that's what she looks like um, and if you're gonna just sit there and judge me there's the door now I'm probably gonna end up cleaning this up a little bit probably taking a little bit of material off of here um, to make it just a little thinner um, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and weld it up before I start grinding on it that way I can look at it on the rear end, uh, make sure everything looks decent. It doesn't have to be perfect, I just want it to look decent. So I don't get a lot of, <laughs> look at that. Did you make that yourself? Oh, it looks like it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. There it is.
to be a lot more of this going on. Get back with you guys when I have it a little more welded up. There it is, welded on. Pretty happy with it, I think it turned out all right. Next goal is to make some drop mounts for the upper trailing arms. I'm gonna drop them about five inches. The only reason why I'm gonna do that is because that's what everybody does. And basically I just do what everybody does. That's why I bought a Lincoln and put hydraulics on it because I'm a wuss and I didn't want to do anything challenging. So I'm gonna drop those about five inches, got some tubing, got some steel, I think I got everything to make them, so I'm probably gonna start tinkering around with those next. For tonight, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, um, and then I'll probably paint that tomorrow. I'm just gonna paint it black, make it look a little better. Low riding.